Good afternoon and welcome from the South East Coast where Salford, 300 miles from home, played Dover Athletic in the National League. Two teams in contrasting form in the Whites parted, man parted company with manager Chris Kinnear on Friday after 10 games without a win. Interim boss Jake Laval makes three changes as Jack Connors, Cadel Daniel and Bradley Barry come into a change 4-4-2. Unsurprisingly, there are no changes to Salford by September's manager of the month, Graham Alexander. And the goalkeeper with a long clearance forward is one of the longer serving players here at Crabble. Goalkeeper who's been here since 2012. It's a good ball forward into Naughty, but it's blocked by Torre. Comes back down to Smith and Smith drives it from range. And it's just wide to the right hand post by George Smith. He's more often as a substitute. It's a low ball by Neil. Comes down into Rooney. Rooney's found a way through to Gaffney now. Gaffney takes the ball into the area. Left footed shot is closed down well by Okusiemi there. But the ball comes back to him on the left. Low cross into the area. Now Walker coming in. Swung a boost at it and got a powerful shot off with his left peg as well. Well, it's wide to the post. Plays the ball back to Chris Neal. Neal with the clearance forward. Shoving the back by Barry on Rooney. Uh, touch finds Gaffney. Time to turn. Play ball forward into Lloyd. Takes a nice touch inside of Barry. Lloyd now into Rooney on the top of the area. Returns it. And Adam Rooney, his third goal in three games. Gives Salford City the lead here at Crabble. A clinical finisher in the top of the area. The ball in from Danny Lloyd. Rooney stopped it to control and down low into the bottom left hand corner. It's Dover Athletic nil, Salford City 1. Play back underway. Walker moving possession out to Leicester Torre. Again, he's feeling a challenge there by Dover. But Salford play on. Torre into Lloyd. Lloyd with the ball into the middle. Gaffney coming across. Keeps all the possession and Rooney now out to Wiseman on the right hand side. Salford obviously scored two quick goals at Maidenhead last weekend. Looking for a repeat here. Wiseman into Gaffney in the area. Trying to sort the ball. It bounces through his legs, but Dover give it back to Wiseman. Now Gaffney. Whitehead on the right hand side. Cuts back inside and back out. Gets the cross into the back post. Rooney peels away and heads in the second of the game. That's Dover nil. Salford two and Rooney again on the end of Wiseman's cross from the right hand side. And a header again into that bottom left hand corner. And it's 2 0 to Salford. And again, two quick fire goals, two goals in two minutes. Uh, Okusiemi is the obvious target at uh, six foot five. So the ball comes in from Brundle to the back post. Okusiemi is there and he heads the ball into the side netting. He goes high above everybody at the back post there, the centre back. Just slowly edging forward. Weissman finds a way through to Lloyd, through the middle. And now Gaffney peeling away on the left, finds some space onto his right-hand side. Now shoots low and saved by Mitch Walker. Down low it was down at the goalkeeper. Dover back underway, cross into the area, coming down. And there's a goal back for Dover. Vicente Gomez coming in at the back post. Got on the end of the cross on the right-hand side. I think it's Fizakali who brought it in. And it's Dover Athletic 1, Salford City 2. That Conga formation at the top of the area, lining up and making the moves now. Walker lifts the ball into the back post. Wiseman coming in on the volley. Oh, what to say that is. Another shot comes in, blocked. Pijani snapped in. I think Rooney's going to claim that one. And Salford restore the two goal cushion on the 56 minute mark. It was almost very well saved from Dover and kept out of the net. There were bodies flying at it. Bounce Pijani slammed his shot in. Adam Rooney was there on the goal line. And I think we're going to have to give it to the number nine. There's his hat trick. His first in Salford Colours. And it's Dover Athletic Four 1, goals, Salford in, City 3. Shelton on the right into Wiseman. Wiseman back across to Pijani. This is turning back into possession now for Salford. As we said, at times in the first half, it almost seemed like training grounds. I don't want to feel too comfortable. It's over showing that they have got a bit of fight about them. And Neil via Pond finds Wiseman. Wiseman down the right. Rooney's made the run. He's on side here. Into the area on the right. Pulls the ball across. And it's nearly, nearly, nearly an own goal there. It's uh, Fazakali down on his knees. I think very glad to see that 
put past the post. Crosses one in, rising to the back post. Piergiani gets up and Piergiani heads down. It's Dover 1, Salford City 4. It seems a bit too easy for Piergiani. He was on marks, rising at the back post and heads the ball down and in. And Salford now with a three goal cushion. Lead 4 1 here at Dover Athletic. Here's Ibu Torre throwing to Shelton. Shelton down into Devontae Rodney. Rodney through down the right hand side. Wiseman's there. He's got Gaffney and Shelton in the middle. Cross comes in. Shelton coming in. Puts the shot back across the face of goal. And he'll be disappointed to have missed that one, Mark Shelton. It was on a plate from him, from Scott Wiseman on this right hand side. They couldn't quite find the inside to the far post. And it's still 4 1. The referee with a check of the watch. 20 seconds still to go. Liam Hogan now. Looks up, plays the ball over the top. Gaffney's on side, but the ball headed away by Essam. And Fazakali all the way back to Mitch Walker. Gaffney closing down the keeper, who gets it clear. The referee with the whistle to his mouth. And the full time score here at Crabble is Dover Athletic 1, Salford City 4. The hatchet by Adam Rooney will grab the headlines. That's 12 goals in 15 for him now. But more importantly, Salford, they keep the place at the top of the table.